it's now officially two and a half weeks until my fight. And today is my last day in the training week. Um, I was speaking to my good friend Chris a lot the last couple of days. And he's helped me redo and adjust my training schedule. Um, he said I was probably training a little too much, especially coming up this close to the fight. So I've reorganized that, dropped a lot of sessions and uh, gonna spend a lot more time laying flat on my back <laughs> and resting. But, and then training is gonna be a lot like shorter, sharper, more explosive, um, in and out kind of sessions. So, coffee? Let's go. Coach, where you at? I got coffee for you. And Ali's gonna drink it if you don't hurry up and get here. <laughs> adopted dad of my Annie <laughs> has to leave his 10 year yeah. um, B1, B2 visa comes to an end on Monday so we're having final catch up gonna miss you I have to leave yeah <laughs> so but uh, don't feel sorry for him because he's gonna go spend a few months traveling around Colombia and Brazil <laughs> and uh, living the life so he'll be right I want to know why do jumpers get made with this thing on it like when you run it's just got oh fuck it just hits you in the face like it's fucking annoying and this is one of those ones like they think that you don't want it to come out so they stitch it in the back well i'll show you what the fuck's happening to you <laughs> fuck off oh i hate them like so annoying why do you need that like i'm not gonna need my hood to be on any tighter than this no <laughs> it's tight. If you're wondering why I look so happy, <laughs> it's because it's track workout time. <sighs> what I want to know is, why do sprints have to be so hard? <laughs> But I did um no beautiful sunset tonight though. Track done. I'm so happy. <laughs> Bit of a change from the way here. So tonight I did uh, the two minute sprints with one minute rest in between. Six of them. It sucked every bit as much as it always does. But I am getting better at it. it still just sucks though. <laughs> I thought as you get better at stuff, you're supposed to like it more. That's what happened with long distance running for me anyway. Actually, I always like long distance running, but then I was always good with it. So anyway, why do sprints suck? <sighs> I want to be good at them and like them. So I'm supposed to be going to Chicago tomorrow morning and I need to leave here at like eight, which means I need to wake up at six to like wash my hair and have a shower and make my brekkie, etc. But I haven't even packed yet because there's a chance that my flight might get cancelled. So like, fuck, I don't want to waste half an hour, 40 minutes packing to not even go. <laughs> Which means I probably have to wake up at like 5.30 just to check and pack. Ugh, why am I awake? Well, apparently the flight's still going, so... <laughs> The race is on. <laughs> this 
landed in Chicago, not even cold. <laughs> That's crazy. It's my day off training today, so I'm also having a day off coffee. I drank tea on the plane. But uh, you can't come to Chicago and not have coffee in this weather. It's too cold. So it's basically hot milk, it's decaf. Cappuccino with light milk. Lots of protein in milk, did you know? <laughs> to the girl because I was in the aisle I was like hey can I just like take a video out your window and she's like yeah yeah go for it she's like you're not from here are you I'm like no nah, this is such a novelty to me I've never seen it so wide and she's like welcome to Chiberia <laughs> I think it's so funny how everyone's got funny names for Chicago like in the summer it's called Chi Rock or Chi, Chi Town Stace what are you doing applying you for the bachelor <laughs> she's nominating me but it's better than doing this shit on my own because i don't have to answer all these questions <laughs> I'm trying to talk myself up <laughs> joe and i are looking forward to being on the episode when we're chosen yep. <laughs> for the hometown, my, hometown dates <laughs> my hype team right here <laughs> so come to chicago and this is what i get <laughs> they reckon i need a, a boyfriend apparently <laughs> Do you pick a pick for me? Yeah, oh my god! She applied me! She's like, which picture do you want? I'm like, babe, that that's fun, your decision. Remember, if you want to make Oh my god. I just had to walk outside for a sec. My face is frozen and it hurts. <laughs> wow. I'm so impressed, babe. I'm even more impressed by this. <laughs> you're getting married, aren't you? This is why you're cooking so good. <laughs> You've done well, Joe. I mean. <laughs> Beautiful morning here in Chicago. Got sunny skies, lots of snow, that snot frozen dripping out my nose. Yeah, I think so. And uh, check out my car. Yeah, that's it, covered in snow. Thank you. Okay, okay. He's gonna move it for me. Uh, towards St. Charles, out of the city. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know which way I'm going. Oh yeah, numb face. Can't even feel the snot dripping down. <laughs> oh, he's even got a broom to clean the snow off for me. What a ledge. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I just kicked it. Um, yeah, it's my girlfriend's birthday, so. Hey, uh, important question. How, are there any like tricks to driving on ice, basically? I just like skidded, I don't know, 10 meters down the road on some ice and it was kind of fucking scary because I almost hit the car in front of me, but I didn't. But I need tips. I don't know how to drive in the snow. This is my first time ever. Here we are. Drove over an hour to come here because Pat is the best. Great sesh. Thanks, Pat. We won't have anything to talk about. You're <laughs> I told them don't today. bitch for a second because they're going on the YouTube. <laughs> nothing to talk about. <laughs> but yeah, solid session. We worked on basic stuff, but perfecting stuff. Hey, yeah. The world. Can we just have a second for how beautiful this is? Like winter wonderland. I can't wipe the smile off my face. Like the whole way out here and back. Magical. Look at that. Damn, there's a car back there. Stuck on the medium strip. Trying to. Oh, it made it. It just got off. Nothing to be given, no role. But in times of trouble, I can turn to my mother and I know that she will understand. So at age 18, I cried to my mother and she told me, young so man. Went into North Orleans Street. <laughs> Bye night. We're going for the red corner. Because that's Pat White's dude. Come on, Mikey. We're on the blue team here. Oh, elbow. It's a bit cheeky. And they're both fucked. This is a I'm here with Jack. Hey, Hi Jack. There. It's his, it's his first time ever watching live boxing. Can you believe that? And having a ball. 
He's watched on TV, but this is uh, his first time, so I'm helping him uh, with what's going on a little bit. Yeah, and I'm, most importantly, though, I'm telling him what team we're on every time, <laughs> so he can cheer for the right corner. My dogs. Great to be here. He doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you see, like his English muffins are fucking phenomenal. The omelette's good too, but I'm here for the English muffins, really. Oh, and if you make it here, you have to ask him for his mum's strawberry jam. Because, like, it's the Greek homemade stuff that's like, oh, like made from strawberries in the garden. Unbelievable. Got to fire myself up for session number two now. Not gonna lie, it wasn't easy to get my ass off the couch, out into the freezing cold, five minutes down the street to the gym, and uh, there's no music or anything, and I'm here on my own, and I have to do it.
Sunday morning sparring. Six rounds today, did three minutes. Coach Pat over here. She did good, she did really good today. Best coach in Chicago. It's the reason I come. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to be on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> He's shy, taught me lots of good tricks though. Perfect timing for my fight in a couple of weeks. So we're just here at the Melly Cafe in Chicago, eating br brekkie, brunch, whatever you call it. Had our uh, healthy omelette, egg scramble and all that. And then apparently Anastasia and Joe are friends with the owner and he just brought us out this. Doesn't he know I'm trying to cut weight? Like, what is this? What am I, what's a girl supposed to do here? I'll show you exactly what to do. <laughs> 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 Lucky we're with a giant, uh, giant six foot eight man who requires about six thousand calories a day. He can, he can take one for the team over here. I think. What? What's the verdict? Verdict is the first one's amazing, second one's chocolate, third one you should probably just have to be certain yourself. <laughs> that was. Uh, what is it? Bananas on bananas. Um, -E now what are you doing, Ev? After my verdict, yeah. what are you doing? I'm all about Nutella. And you know what? It's only lunchtime, so if I have to sit through the Nutella got this. is why. Like, what am I for? <laughs> what up, Miami? I'm back. Please don't let my bag take too long, please, American. Some interesting characters down at Whole Foods on a Monday morning. <laughs> I just had to come down here because my fridge is basically empty since I got back last night. And was unloading my groceries into the back of my car, as was the guy parked next to me. And then he leaves his trolley behind my car, gets in his car and goes to drive away. So I stood behind his car and I'm like, hey mate, um... How do you expect me to get out with your trolley behind my car? And he's like, well, it's not my trolley. And I was like, um, thinking in my head, pretty sure it is, but I didn't say anything. I guess I just gave him a funny look. <laughs> and uh, he's like, but since you say it in that tone of voice, I'll move it for you. <laughs> I was like, all right, thanks, buddy. <laughs> I laughed, but he got out and moved it. <laughs> You're watching, cheers, mate. Hope your Monday gets better. <laughs> Oh god, characters. So necessary, I can actually feel the relaxation just spread over my body. <laughs> Track. Let's do this. What the fuck? Kids riding the bike on the track. Is there anywhere else they can do that? <laughs> Track sesh done. Spent the last half an hour battling the kids riding their bikes on the track. <laughs> Nothing exciting about that sesh. I really hate sprints. Actually, except for the fact that I'm faster and stronger and recovering way faster. <laughs> Actually, I take it back. That was a pretty exciting sesh. <laughs> <sighs> Not gonna lie, I really dislike sprints. <sighs> but. I was actually a little more enthused about today than I ever have been because I changed the way I think a little bit. Rather than thinking about, oh fuck, I'm gonna go and push myself so fucking hard that it's gonna hurt and I'm gonna be sore and I'm gonna wanna vomit and blah, 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 which is basically what happens. <laughs> I started thinking, I've only got X amount of sessions until fight day and that's only X amount of opportunities to make myself into the best that I can be. So rather than thinking of it as punishment, think of it as every sprint is a limited opportunity to make myself the best I can be. 
because I only have to do so many of them. I'm only allowed to do a certain amount of them because beyond that, it's just like pounding myself and I need the extra recovery and it, then it becomes like not as effective. So when I started thinking of it as opportunity to make myself better, you know, halfway through the sprint, I'm like dying and tired and I just focused on, okay, sit down, squeeze your glutes, draw your tummy on, come on, push harder. You can take a bigger step. Come on, drive off harder. Thinking about like every little element of what I'm trying to do and what I'm trying to achieve and what the goal is here, rather than just thinking about, come on, harder, kill yourself more. <laughs> Because thinking like kill yourself more, like that's fatiguing, just that thought. <laughs> and with that thought too, it doesn't really matter if one lap is faster than the next one or slower than the next one. Like if I feel like I squeezed my glute harder and drove off with every step harder and I feel stronger, then that's the point because that's what I'm trying to achieve. Like, and that should reflect in the speed, but like sometimes it doesn't, which is okay which makes it more enjoyable because I want to be the best. Not really sure how it goes, but it's sad and it's sweet and I knew it complete when I wore a younger man's shoes. Clothes. <laughs> la la la. La 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 la. Sing us a song, you're the piano man. Sing us a song tonight. Well, we're all in the mood for a melody. And you got us feeling all right. What's better than bath time? Karaoke bath time. <laughs> Spot six rounds today. So fucking happy. I killed it. Really, really happy. Like everything I've been working on coming together. I mean, still a few things I need to keep working on, but yeah, good job, Avril. Very excited, even at my flight's only like a week and a half away. I've got one week left of training, so yeah, training camp day off. Well, there goes my afternoon at the beach. Not really impressed. They should have really told me I was gonna be there for two and a half hours when I booked the appointment. I literally thought it was gonna be like, go in, pick up the new Invisalign and get out. But they had to like move all these little nodules on my teeth, so. And then they fucked it up the first time, so then they had to do a take two. Seriously, this like dentist or the dentist is the most useless fucking one I've ever had in my whole life. And as soon as I'm done with this Invisalign, I will be finding a new dentist and probably never be going back there. 